as the world gradually recovers from the antagonistic effects of the coronavirus pandemic, women, children, and persons living with disabilities continue to be the most affected. This year, as we acknowledge and appreciate the diverse roles that women play in our society, on the International Women's Day, the MOVES Women Forum brings you the COVID-19 voices, a testimony of those that have chosen to challenge the situation. COVID-19 came as a shock. I went into the coma. Um, uh, I was a student, uh, a PhD student. We didn't know what, is, what was happening. Uh, my PhD is online, but still, you know, it is different, you know, working from home. You have kids who, I mean, these needy kids. And I was, uh, I was pregnant by that time, so it was kind of very complicated. So I joined the Guild presidential race with uh, competing against four gentlemen as the only lady. And of course, the pandemic cut us short. The day schools were closed, we had about two weeks to voting. Of course, school being cut short was also an issue that affected us. Right now, we would all be almost out of school. We would be in our very last semester, but we haven't done internship. We had gotten internship placements. They were all canceled. So it is like actually going back to zero. Closed abruptly and the, they were one of our major customers. Uh, schools, canteens, VDs, uh, shopping from the supermarkets for the juices, all that dropped such that in April, our sales revenue was only 20% of the previous two months. Uh, when they blocked the means of transport, including the cars, we could remain at home and uh, no operations. So in one way or another, it affected our businesses or my business. Despite the fact that they left these people, uh, people were moving on foot, okay, we were allowed to move. But uh, for us, we are using uh, uh, cars, uh, especially by movement, definitely. That was the only movement to using a car and I was stopped. So it is hard to move like three kilometers when you are crossing. I started to pick myself up. I think at a, a month or two into the lockdown, I told I talked to my immediate boss as like, why don't we start teaching online? Why don't we carry out trainings online? I mean, we need to keep ourselves busy. Why don't we do things online? So that is when we started our webinars. Uh, we started with. Uh, I started assisting the Entrepreneurship Center with their uh, breakfast meetings online, uh, leadership center things online. So we started picking up slowly. So we kind of got into a norm. The lockdown introduced the new normal in terms of Zoom meetings or digital uh, business. So we sometimes benefit from the social media marketing. We also benefit from uh, home meetings where I don't have to spend a lot of time and money going. And uh, sometimes I wonder, people say, and now you see I don't have data, but how much would you have, sp have spent going to a meeting in terms of money and, uh, and time? One of the opportunities that came with this very long term of being idle, <laughs> most of us actually resorted to using the internet so much. I'd love to, to note that um, we got to learn skills through using YouTube, you learn how to bake, like you just want to learn very many things, so you would obviously go online and Google a few things and try to put them into practice and and then also um, get in touch. Now to a person like me who is so um, open to working with different female organizations, um, learning more about public speaking, I engage so much with um, doing online leadership courses, volunteering online, which was all an opportunity that came out of that long period of being at home. We were hit in terms of drop in sales, just like uh, everybody else. But we had an advantage also because our products are nutritious and medicinal, so they were COVID-19 compliant in a way, eh? given the 
slow market were quite competitive because we could we used it to call people and ask them if they need anything then they would say yes but how do you deliver so we used the, our motorcycle and we would deliver but we were delivering a product which was relevant at that time that is hibiscus tea hibiscus juice rosemary even okra and palm seed coffee they build immunity all these products are rich in vitamin c iron potassium calcium magnesium sodium in short they boost immunity they detoxify while they are refreshing twice wabo venyo kubanga cha tugwa ko bachirangirira muluna ku rumune bakanti encha ngene mujje ya bana kusomera e yali bomo ya soka okutukuba ngaba zadde cha tuisa bubi ne tuyiya tukoze tutya bu capital we twali nabo bwa tugwa ko nti capital rokuba fe twina sente entono ze tukozesa tuziria mangu nti bo bato subu de mangu damu no subu la ba mututunda nyanya aba mututunda ovacado aba mututunda ngoye naye ogendo okwekanga nti sente ezo zino kubanga zizala amagoba kati saa wenu tuwekanga anga sente te zize yokola weziri atete mukola so twaziria nezigwawo nitusanga obuzibu okulira bilira abana okubata emingo lokuba bade babira ku masomero sente za fe za tata kanizi bwanyo amunze um, nganze nasoka nendo oza kuchokolera awaka manyo kufumba ke kekisi nzifumba bulungi nitudamu netugamba lachi tetufumba kekisi awaka nitu hakubana abantu aba wali okumpi amaduka agali awo netsubulo okubayamba nitfumba ngabo queen cakes no tin obwe bitano bitano echat koze so obwe bitano bitano nti bwo bujja kwangu anti buli muntu atambula buli yaina omwana amugulira kamu mangu olokuba bali te bakola chi te bayina sent twagenda tuongera ko eventually ne tukola ne nene ne nga tuzisala sala mu butono ne tuzitonde obukumi lukumi kubange emu wali tewali ayinza jigule nene mu sere kya bantu bonanga te bayina sente